wheezing, sneezing, and troubled breathing. Well, while it might rhyme, there is nothing cute about it, especially if you're one of the 60 million Americans suffering from asthma and allergies. And the biggest causes may be sitting right under your nose. Okay, Allergy to Awareness Month is in full swing and right on cue, Michelle Casale is here with some tips to make our homes more asthma and allergy friendly. So Michelle, welcome. What's wrong Thank with you. our homes? I'm just kidding. <laughs> what are the, some of the things that we can do to make our homes uh, you know, more friendly to these allergens and, and asthma problems? Well, 60% of all people who have asthma also have allergies. Okay. Asthma and allergies are triggered by allergens and irritants that we can find in the home. Some examples of allergens can be found in our drapes, in our bedrooms, in pillows, mm wall-to-wall -wall carpeting. Sure. Examples of allergens can be mold, mildew, pet dander, pollen, roaches. Irritants can be found also in our home. Well, how <laughs> can we decrease these allergens and irritants? I mean, where do we start? Starting off with building and remodeling, yeah. a couple red flags that come up, especially if you have somebody in your family who's dealing and living with allergies and asthma. If you are building and remodeling a home, you want to try and avoid, if possible, plywood. If you can, try to avoid wall-to-wall -wall carpeting and kind of go with hardwood floors, okay? You want to keep your humidity levels below 50%. Also, if you're thinking about buying a new heating and ventilation system, you want to make sure that you buy a certified HEPA filter, one that can be replaced or washable. 